currently on the blog page of the bakery store site and you can see I have a few blog posts here. And now I want to add an RSS feed to make it easier for visitors to keep up to date with content. So to start with, I'll just go over what an RSS feed actually is. Uh, so an RSS feed is just an XML file. It has some metadata about uh, the website, its description, a link to the website, uh, and then it has items, which in this case are blog posts. And each item has the title of the post, a description, a link to the post, uh, a link to where you can leave comments for it, and the date it was published. Uh, and you can see this RSS feed has two posts. Now we want to create a RSS feed in Jekyll. So how do we go about doing that? I'm going to go over two ways in this video. The first just uses vanilla Jekyll, uh, and the second uses a plugin. And it's good to know both ways of doing it, uh, as some hosting providers don't support plugins. And it's good to understand how it's actually working under the hood. So to start with, we'll create a new file called feed.xml. So I'm just going to paste in some code here and then talk through it. Uh, so we have the basic metadata that we saw before. So we've got a title, description, and a link. Um, you can see the link is being output using Liquid, uh, and it's a site.url variable, which we haven't defined yet. We'll define later. Next, we're iterating over the posts in our site. Uh, and if it's not a blog post, uh, we're outputting all the metadata for that post. So there's a title, the content, a date, which is formatted as an XML date, uh, and the URL. And we also have this uh, ID to uniquely identify the content, which is exactly the same as the link. Um, and both those are prepended with that site URL uh, variable. Okay, so the next step is to define site.url. And we do that in underscore config.yaml. And we can just set URL equal to, uh, I'll just make up an address here. And the final step is if we go over to our default layout, uh, we'll add a link in here, which points to the RSS feed. Uh, so that means if someone's using an RSS reader on our site, it will be able to pick up the RSS feed automatically. Okay, let's have a look at our site. If we go to slash feed.xml on our site, uh, it'll bring up the RSS feed, and you can see I have two blog posts here. So that's how we can generate an RSS feed using Liquid. Uh, now let's have a look at using a plugin. So first we'll delete feed.xml. Then I'll create a gem file, uh, add a source of um, rubygems.org. Uh, add the Jekyll gem and add the Jekyll feed gem. Uh, this is what's going to generate the RSS feed for us. Uh, then I'll add those gems to underscore config.yaml. And we can replace the link in the default layout with a liquid tag which has been added by the plugin. Um, so we can use feed underscore meta. All of this is documented on the plugin GitHub page. Now we need to install the plugin, uh, so we'll run a bundle install, and we'll run a bundle exec uh, Jekyll serve. Uh, this ensures that when we run Jekyll, it's including all the plugins in our gem file. And now when we view the feed, um, you can see it's got the blog post here, it's generated the feed. There's actually more metadata um, than we had before, like it's added a generator uh, field and updated and things like that. And there's plenty of options to uh, customize this plugin. Uh, so head over to the Jekyll feed GitHub repository uh, if you want more information.
This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.